ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord's name be praised. Praise ye the Lord. Welcome you once again to a new series of the Super Champions Hour of the Jesus Kabod Ministries. And today is going to be a miracle service. Jesus is coming your way. Coming your way as a miracle worker, as a healer, as a deliverer. To touch your life and turn your life all around. I'm going to take the scripture today from John chapter 9. And the theme for today is, when Jesus sends you for your miracle. I want you to repeat in your home or whatever you are listening to. That when Jesus, when when Jesus, Jesus sends you, sends you for your miracle. For your miracle. Now I want you to personify it and say that when Jesus sends me, when, when Jesus, Jesus sends me for my miracle. For my miracle. Now we're going to read John chapter nine. We're not going to read the whole of the John chapter nine. The John chapter nine we're going to take a bit of it, but we're just taking a small portion of it. But the whole account covered the whole of John chapter 9. The Bible says, As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciple asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no man can work. While I am in this world, I am the light of the world. As I saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva and put it on the man's eye. Go! He told him, Watch in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent. So the man went and washed and came home seeing his neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging. Asked, Isn't this the man? Isn't this the same man? Who used to sit and beg, some claimed that he was. Others said, no, he only looked like him, but he himself insisted, I am the man. How then were your eyes open, they asked. He replied, the man they called Jesus, made some mud, and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and then I could see. Where is this man? They asked him. I don't know, he said, as we continue on and on. But I want us to jump to the verse 25 of chapter 9 of John. He replied, whether he's a sinner or not, I don't know. One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. This NIV version, the King James version said, once I was blind, now I could see. Today God will heal many of different kind of eye problems, eyesight, totally blind, Blind in one eye, pains in the eye, squinted eyes, crossed eyes, whatever there may be. And you, you see in a blurred fashion, a God will touch you. He will meet you at a point of your need. He will meet you also at the point of your faith. You must let your faith work. It's going to heal every kind of sickness and diseases as well. When Jesus sends you for your miracle, 
The Bible said, Jesus met this man and he told the man that he should go to the pool of Siloam and wash after he has spit on the ground. You see, Jesus can do miracles in different manner. He took the mud and then mixed it with the saliva and put it on the eye of the blind man. The hand of Jesus is touching you in the spirit. You may not see Jesus physically now, but the Bible says he sent his word unto them and healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. The word of Jesus and Jesus are one. That's what the Bible calls Jesus. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And the word became flesh and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten Son of God, which identifies that God's word is his Son, Jesus Christ. And he became incarnated. That is a pre-existent spirit taking on physical body. So he became incarnated in the womb of the Virgin Mary and came on earth and he went and he met this man. Jesus is meeting you today with every problem that you have. He's going to meet you and then he will deal with the situation. The Bible says he took our infirmities and sickness and went to the cross with it. And by his stripes, you were healed. And I want you to exercise your faith today. And we're going to not preach long. But the power of God is present to make you every with whole. Say Amen wherever you are. Amen. Now, people were arguing after the man had received his miracle. But the point was that the man was blind. But Jesus told him. And Jesus seemed to have worsened the situation for the man. By putting mud on the blind eyes. And he told him. He sent him. And God be so good, the very pool that Jesus sent the man to, which is Siloam, the word Siloam in the Hebrew language means sense. Jesus is sending you today. He's making you do what you couldn't do before. He's making you do, take an impossible step, do what seemed to be silly, nonsense. But what is nonsense means Bible sense. That which human beings will say is nonsense. It doesn't make sense. God doesn't move by human sense. God moves by his utmost knowledge and understanding and sight. And I want you to put your hand wherever you are hurting. And the word of God is coming to you. I can see three people who are pain in the eyes that God is touching right now. That's what I'm seeing. And I can see multitude of you. I can see blind eyes. I can see eyes being opened right now. I can see eyes that are blurred becoming very clear. There are about 50 people that God is giving 2020 vision. 2020 vision. A perfect vision. I can see angels of God also bringing eyeballs, new eyeballs from the store room of God in heaven and bringing them unto you. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. And I want you to say, I receive it. I receive it. I say, I want you to say, I receive it. I receive it. I receive my eyeball right now. I receive everything that is wrong with my eye, the new spare part of my eye. I receive it. I want you to say, I receive it today. I receive it today. You are being sent. Jesus is sending you for your own miracle. And the step that you are to take, there seem to be obstacles on the way. And you are weak in every area. Now, the Spirit of God is telling me that some people have problems right inside the tummy, in your stomach, the lining. It's being healed right now. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I say receive your healing. And God is giving me a knowing of cardinal problem. As I'm speaking, somebody's heart 
is palpitating. It's moving beyond the heartbeat. It's more than the normal. But it's slowing down right now. Put your hand there and say, I receive my healing. I receive, I receive my healing. healing. I want you to put your hand there and say, I receive my healing. I receive my healing. Somebody has been built for surgery. Somebody, you are called Andrew. You have been built for surgery. But the Lord says, He's healing you right now. By the time you report it to your doctors, and they run, you ask them to run new tests, because when they run the new test, they will tell you that. They don't know how. They show you the, the x-ray or whatever scan that they took of you previously, and they see that there's a drastic change that will be healed. And give glory to God and tell them that you listen to this broadcast and the hand of God touch you. In the name of Jesus, I see somebody being raised from your sick bed. You are the point of death. Rise up in the name of Jesus. I say rise up in Jesus' name and be made every week to jump up from your sick bed right now. I want you to jump up in Jesus. You will not die. You will live to declare the works of the Lord. Say amen to that. Amen. And raise your hand as you rise up from the bed and say, I am healed. I am healed. By the stripe of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God for the miracles of healings and miracles that have taken place. But that's not the end of it. If you are healed of your physical ailment and your spirit and your soul is still in the bondage of sin, sin is spiritual sickness and disease. I want you to give your life to Christ. I want you to repent of your sin and confess the Lordship of Jesus over your life. Are you ready? I know you are ready. You want eternal life. You want your life to be passed from death unto life. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus having healed me, having healed me of my physical sickness and disease, of my physical sickness and disease, and I want, and I want you, you to heal me, to heal me of my spiritual, of my spiritual sickness and disease. Sickness and disease. I repent therefore, I repent therefore of my ways, of my ways, and accept you. And as the Lord as the Lord of my life, of my life. Come, into my heart. come into my heart be my Lord be my, Lord. Be my personal Savior be my personal I thank you thank for you. washing me from all my sins and coming to my heart and making me a born again child of yours making me a born again child of yours Amen now I'll give you an advice you have to undertake daily this four spiritual exercise you do it daily like we do daily physical exercise the number one is the word of god you feed on the bible that's the word of god you feed on it daily that's god's food for your spirit and soul it also touches your body as well and number two is your communication to god you talk to god through the matchless name of jesus God talks to you through his word and feeds you and empowers you. You also talk to him in prayer. And in prayer, you use only one name, the name Jesus. And every prayer of yours shall be answered because God hears the name Jesus. Number three, as the Bible tells in Hebrew, chapter 10, 23, 24, 25, that you make sure you assemble yourself with people of like mind who are born again regularly midweek services as well as Sunday service go regularly and join also a department tell your pastor or tell the pastor if you have not been going to church at all find a Bible believing church and tell the pastor that you're giving your life to Christ he will tell you what to do they will disciple you then number four tell your friends tell your colleagues of what Jesus has done for you and bring them to the saving knowledge of Christ that they also shall pass from death unto life. They will not die and go to hell in the name of Jesus. 
I bless God for your life for having that. And I'm raise your hand, whatever be your need. Let me pray for you. I pray in the name of Jesus that the miracle hand of God shall touch you in whatever you are, whatever you did, even fiscal and financial needs in the name of Jesus. God will give you a breakthrough and where there's no way in the area of employment, God shall open door for you. I command angels of God to move and bring about uh, an open an open heaven for your life in Jesus' name. Miraculously, you get a job. Miraculously, you get promotion. Miraculously, you you get a salary raise. Miraculously, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing your people and working miracles in their life. In Jesus' name, we call it down. Can I hear you shout, Amen? Amen. Amen. Sent, He has sent you, and you have gone. Blessed be God for your life. Until then, until then, I pray that the hand of God shall be with you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, even now and forevermore, as I leave you with the shalom, the peace of God, the joy of the Holy Ghost. Shout the big Amen. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on our channel.